Hello guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay Properties of Addition and Multiplication So, in adding or multiplying integers, you have to consider the different properties of integers. So, let's have closure property of addition. The sum of any real numbers is a real number. A plus B is a real number. So, example, we have here 5 plus 10 equals 15. And negative 10 plus 7 equals negative 3. So, yung very common pala na nakikita natin na palagi natin ginagawa since elementary tayo na pag a natin, ang tawag po pala doon ay closure property of addition. Sunod, we have also closure property of multiplication. The product of any two real numbers is a real number. A times B is a real number. As you observe, that yung ginamit sa gitna. Kagaya dun sa last video, yung dat sa gitna ay ginagamit as multiplication. Also, the parentheses. So, let's have this example. 5 times 10 is equal to 50. And, negative 4 times 3 is equal to negative 12. Again, yung very common na ginagamit natin na pag nagmumultiply tayo, ang tawag pala sa property na yon ay closure property of multiplication. <laughs> Next, commutative property of addition. Two real numbers can be added in any order. A plus B is equal to B plus A. Let's have this example. We have here 12 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 12. So, ano na observe mo? Okay, correct. So, pinagbaliktad lang natin sila. So, tingnan natin kung pare sila ng sagot. Yes, they have the same answer. So, 12 plus 7 is equal to 19 and 7 plus 12 is also equal to 19. So, ang tawag po doon kapag pinagbabaliktad ay commutative property of addition. Commutative property of addition again. So, let's have this example. The order of addends will not affect the sum. So, even though pagbalikta rin natin yung dalawang number, parehas pa rin sila na magiging sagot. Example, 5 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2 plus 5. So, pinagbaliktad natin yung dalawang number. Tingnan natin kung parehas sila ng sagot. Yes, parehas sila. 5 plus negative 2. So, kung papansin ninyo, the sign of 5 is positive and the sign of 2 is negative. So, since they have different sign, you are going to subtract. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. And you're going to get the sign of the bigger number, which is 5. So, since positive si 5, ang magiging sagot mo ay positive 3. Sa kabila naman, we have here negative 2 plus 5. Again, since magkaiba sila ng sign, the sign of 2 is negative and the sign of 5 is positive, you are going to subtract. And you're going to get the sign of the bigger number. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then, since 5 is bigger than 2, you're going to get the sign of 5, which is positive. That's why we have positive 3 also. So, ganun lang kapag commutative property. Pag nakita mo na pinagpalit ang posisyon ng dalawang integers, ibig sabihin commutative property of addition yon. Commutative property of multiplication 
Two real numbers can be multiplied in any order. A times B is equal to B times A. So let's have this example. 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 3 times 5. And pares tayo na naging answer. We have here negative 15 is equal to negative 15. Another example. The order of factors will not affect the product. So, tandaan palagi natin na kahit magpalit pa yan, pares pa rin yan ang answer. 10 times 3 is equal to 3 times 10. So, we have 30 is equal to 30. Proceed naman tayo sa associative property of addition. If three real numbers are added, it makes no difference which two are added first. So we have here the quantity of A plus B plus C is equal to A plus the quantity of B plus C. So as you observe, ang unang nakagroupings ay si A plus B plus C is equal to A, nakahiwalay naman si A, at ang nakagroupings naman ay si B plus C. So tingnan natin if they will have the same answer. Let's have this example. The quantity of 12 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 plus the quantity of 7 plus 5. So as you observe, ang nakagroupings ay si 12 plus 7 sa unahan at sa huli naman si 7 plus 5. So we have here 12 plus 7 is 19 plus 5 is equal to 12 plus 7 plus 5 is 12. So ano kaya magiging answer? Yes, it is 24 parehas. So 24 is equal to 24. Let's have another example. Remember that different groupings of addends will not affect the sum. The quantity of 2 plus 7 plus negative 3 is equal to 2 plus the quantity of 7 plus negative 3. So, ang unang nakagroupings ay si 2 plus 7 and sa dulo ang nakagroupings ay si 7 plus negative 3. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 plus negative 3 is equal to 2, then 7 plus negative 3, since 7 and negative 3 have different sign, so you're going to subtract. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4, and you are going to get the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. So we have positive 4. Then 9 plus negative 3, since magkaiba sila ng sign, Positive si 9, negative si 3. So, subtract. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. And, ano mas mataas, si 9 or si 3? Si 9. Kaya, ang ating sagot ay positive 6. And, sa kabilang side, 2 plus 4 is 6. So, they have the same answer. Ang galing, ba Kahit balibalik ta rin natin yung grouping, same pa rin sila ng answer. Proceed naman tayo sa next property. We have here associative property of multiplication. If three real numbers are multiplied, it makes no difference which two are multiplied first. We have here the quantity of A times B times C is equal to A times the quantity of B times C. So let's have this example. The quantity of 2 times 1 times negative 3 is equal to 2 times the quantity of 1 times negative 3. So as you observe, ang unang nakagroupings ay si 2 times 1 and sa kabilang side naman, ang magkasama ay si 1 and negative 3. So tingnan natin if they will have the same answer. 2 times 1 is equal to 2 times negative 3 is equal to 2, then 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So we have now 2 times negative 3 is equal to 2 times negative 3. So what is 2 times negative 3? Okay, it is negative 6. So they have the same answer. So kahit balibalik ta rin natin yung groupings, parehas pa rin sila ng sagot. 
Tandaan natin na different groupings of factors will not affect the product. Let's have this example. 10, the quantity of 10 times 1 times 2 is equal to 10 times the quantity of 1 times 2. Ang magkasama naman ay si 10 and 1 at sa kabilang side ay si 1 and 2. So what is 10 times 1? So of course, it is 10 times 2 is equal to 10, then 1 times 2 is 2. So, what is 10 times 2? Okay, so it is 20. What is 10 times 2? Yes, it is also 20. They have the same answer. Ang galing, di ba? Next property naman tayo. Identity property of addition. Any number added to the identity element 0 will remain unchanged. 0 is the identity element for addition. So, a plus 0 is equal to a. So, kahit anong number na i-plus natin kay 0, ang magiging sagot ay the number itself. Kapag nakita ninyo na in kay 0, pinlas kay 0, identity property of addition yon. So, let's have this example. 23 plus 0 is equal to 23. So, palagi na natin ginagawa, di ba? Plus pala tayo ng, kay, ng 0, identity property of addition pala yun. At ang magiging sagot ay the number itself. So, another, we have here 0 plus negative 12. Automatic, the answer is negative 12. Okay, sunod naman tayo. 0 plus 8. So, ang sagot ay 8. Ang dali, di ba? So, abangan nyo yung continuation sa aking next vlog. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, like kung nagustuhan mga video na ito. And comment down below kung meron ka pang mga gustong math tutorials na gusto nyo magkaroon ng math tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching.